Hey everybody, here's a quick tutorial on how to get to Gale TextQuest. So first I've logged into class link, link.saisd.net and signed in with my username and password. Once you're inside, you're gonna look for library databases. So inside of here, you have a lot of resources that you can use, but Gale TextQuest is one we're talking about right now. So I'm gonna click on that and show you that today. So there's actually a ton of things in there, a bunch of resources broken up by elementary, middle school, high school. You can see that there's articles, multimedia, research, opposing viewpoints, National Geographic, all kinds of things. But today what I'm gonna do is just do a quick search. Let's just imagine I'm doing some research on dogs. So I'm gonna type in dog here into the power search. On the next screen, I'm gonna see many different types of resources. There is 150,000 academic journals, 363,000 magazines, books, news, images, video clips, audio clips, all kinds of stuff. What I'm gonna do is click on just the first one here. It looks like it's about dog food dilemma. Do you really understand your dog's nutritional requirements? This could be interesting for my research. So I'll click this article. Some other things that are really helpful for students is number one, the ability for me to translate the article, to adjust font size, to be able to listen to the article. And then I may also want to download this article to my Google Drive. This is fantastic as for students and teachers. Teachers think about being able to save this article to your Google Drive, and then you can actually go in and uh, push this out to Kami or bring it into, um, if you're a secondary teacher, you have access to tools like Actively Learn that can really help you add notes into this and, and all kinds of things. So definitely take, you, um, take advantage of this tool and check it out inside of your single sign-on.